So I think to fairly evaluate this car, I think we need to drop the top, especially on a day like this. So the 2023 Chevy Camaro ZL1, a convertible at that, is probably a car that some people were fearful would never make it to market. But here we are today staying next to one. Now V8 sports cars, especially supercharged ones just like this one, are on their last few years of production. So I think we just have to enjoy these cars while we have them. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look around this 2023 mod year and see what you get. Now quickly before we begin, I want to go over the exact spec of this car in case anyone out there is indeed interested in purchasing it because as the time of filming, this car is still available for sale. So of course this is the 2023 Camaro Z1 convertible in red hot with the jet black dark accent interior. It does have the 10 speed automatic. I'm not going to go over any of the standard features because those are pretty standard issue on all Z1s. I'll go over the optional stuff. So this one has the 10 speed automatic transmission, the exposed carbon fiber hood insert, the carbon fiber instrument panel molding, the navigation system, red seat belts, red knee pads, the battery protection package, the shift knob with carbon fiber appearance cap, and this one is missing the rear park assist that includes a later retrofit, which brings the total MSRP to $80,220. So now that we know exactly which spec Camaro ZL1 this is, I just wanna show you around the vehicle really quickly so you get an idea of what those options give you in terms of the appearance. And this is just gonna be a video kind of to enjoy and celebrate the ZL1 because while well, it's been around for quite some time now, however, it is in its last few model years. So I think this is kind of a special car in some regards. Uh, hopefully they do a special edition send off or something like that because this would be uh, very nice for this car and this platform. But of course this one is finished in the red hot with your ZL1 specific front end. I've always been a huge fan of the 6th gen ZL1. I think they look great. I know a lot of people like the Mustang and you know the GT350, the GT500, everything like that. I actually like the looks on the exterior of the Camaro much better. Do you have your flow tie up top? ZL1 logo in the lower grille. Tons of cooling here on the ZL1 to keep that 6.2 liter supercharged V8 cool. You can see the radiators behind the duct there on both sides. LED lighting with your incandescent turn signals. Of course your gloss black splitter here on the front. That follows around to the sides as well. These are your 20 inch ZL1 specific kind of graphite finish wheels. These are staggered setup, wrapped in F1 Supercar 3 summer tires. Brembo calipers with the ZL1 logos behind them. Overall, great looking wheel, definitely a fan of it myself. Now this one is optioned with the carbon fiber hood insert that we went over just a second ago. I think this really makes the car stand out and uh, carbon fiber in general is always a win in my book. So I think that looks cool, definitely worth the money. There's your gloss black side skirt along the side of the vehicle. Of course, this is the drop top, so no top currently up, but it comes with the black convertible top. Coming to the back, you have your clear LED taillights. I think these look good on the Z01 and other trims of the Camaro as well. There's your paint match spoiler with the integrated rear view camera camera. Backup camera down below, rear parking sensors, more the gloss black accent trim around the quad tip valved exhaust. Sounds great stock. That's one thing I'll give GM, all of their stock performance exhaust cars sound really good from the factory. So uh, thumbs up from that perspective. 
Let's go ahead and take a look on the interior now. As you can see through the windshield, you do have a heads up display on this vehicle. Blind spot monitoring. These are heated mirrors as well. And uh, the driver and center one are auto dimming. That one over there on the outside is not. Proximity entry standard on ZL1. I did unwrap that passenger seat over there. So once we get over there, we'll see what the seat looks like itself. But as far as the door panel, soft touch suede up top with the red accent stitching. Red knee pad here on the driver's door. Automatic windows two-person memory driver's seat, power locks, premium Bose audio system, Camaro door sill plate. There's your power adjustments for both the front seats. Of course, this one is optioned with the red seat belts. Always a nice touch. As far as the steering wheel goes, this is the suede steering wheel as well with the red accent stitching. This is heated paddle shifters, all that good stuff. Start it up so you guys can see some of the options on the interior. There's your partially digital gauge cluster. Of course, this is low on gas. Very nice overall, flat bottom, Z01 logo on the bottom. Of course, has paddle shifters, automatic headlights. There's your heads up display controls on the left side. It's currently not on. Eight inch HD infotainment system with built in navigation as the option. Heated and cooled front seats. Dual zone automatic climate control, suede shift boot here with the carbon fiber cap on top. That is the option. Drive mode selection, power uh, electronic parking brake, 12 volt outlet, two cup holders. Here's your proximity key with the power uh, convertible roof. Leather wrapped armrest with USB and auxiliary inside. Auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link on the bottom. OnStar, here's your power roof controls that you can do from the inside as well. Take a look at the back seat. This has the same suede and leather accents that the front does. There's a wireless charging pad kind of between the two seats. Little Camaro emblem up there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the passenger seat. Show you guys what the seat looks like itself. So there's a good look at the front seats. They are Recaro's with the ZL1 logo in the back. Overall, a very comfortable and fairly aggressive seat, not too aggressive, but you can see your carbon fiber dash trim on this side as well as part of the option package. Glove box is damped. And there's your red knee pads as well on the sides of the center console. Overall, a very good spec on this car with the red exterior and the red accents on the interior. There is a rapid blue convertible coming here as well that I'm very excited to see. Hopefully that one shows up soon. I'd love to get it on video for you guys. Let's take a look at the trunk really quick. Of course, these are not known for having a very large trunk, but it is a moderately usable one at that, at least when the top is up. You can see the top takes up quite a bit of the trunk space here in the back. You can still fit some small, uh, thin items underneath it if you would like, but overall not a ton of space while the top is down. Pretty cool just to be hands-on with this car in general, because like I said, this car is probably going away in the next year or two. So just to see this car brand new from the factory um, in all its glory is very neat. So we'll take a peek underneath the hood, of course, as we have to with these vehicles. Admire the Supercharge LT4. This puts out 650 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque, again, through that 10-speed automatic transmission, which was a huge improvement on this platform and generation of Camaro. I think a lot of people out there are very happy with the 10-speed's performance, again, for a traditional automatic, not a dual clutch or anything like that. And one thing I almost forgot to mention is all LT4s are hand-assembled still here in the United States with a little plaque on them. So as you can see, Performance Center, Bowling Green, Kentucky, assembled by Kathy Walker. Shout out to Kathy if you're watching this video, but yeah, pretty cool to see. So I found myself just standing here the last few minutes just looking at this car because it's hard to imagine that it's not going to be available for purchase new uh, in the next couple years. So it's just hard to imagine. It's such a cool looking car, performs amazing. You know, there's just so much to say about this car. 
uh, to think that you know we're moving away from these things it's just hard to imagine you know I'm not against change in any way uh, but to, to just think that this is no longer going to be available uh, just kind of sucks um, all the you know characteristics of the V8 the sound you know the driving experience all that kind of stuff uh, hopefully GM can make one heck of an electric sports car at some point in time because whatever car comes along definitely has some shoes to fill from this car. Yeah, it's just hard to imagine. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. I kind of just wanted to show you guys this car in all of its, you know, V8 glory, I guess. If you're interested in buying this car, like I said, at the time of filming, this is still available. I'm not sure how long it's going to last on the lot here because I can't imagine GM is going to be producing too many more of these. Uh, here in the 23 and maybe 24 mod year. I don't even know if the car is going to last till then. Now, if you want to see anything specific with this car, leave a comment down below. Like I said, there is another one coming in in the color rapid blue here uh, sometime. It is delayed last I heard. So we'll see when that car comes in. But if there's anything you want to see content wise with the ZL1, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear it. So if you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed watching, hit that like button. You know what? Actually, just smash the like button for the Camaro ZL1 you know, RIP to the one of the best Camaros ever built. So just go ahead and smash that like button regardless. So with all this being said, I'm going to sit here and admire this Camaro for a few more minutes. And uh, as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one.